In this electronic age, there is a strong demand for highly trained professionals to service and maintain electronic equipment. Electronics technicians are needed in the communication, automotive, consumer products and medical industries just to name a few. Well, this course is mainly about um, uh, teaching people how to uh, repair electronic devices. Um, it starts from scratch to where they can actually repair things, in theory. Uh, there is a practical component in our course, and which hopefully leads on to employment. NMIT Epping Campus delivers a Certificate 2 in Electronics, Certificate 2 in Computer Assembly and Repair, Certificate 3 in Electronics and Communications, plus apprenticeships in this field, and a Diploma of Electronics and Communications. The courses offered at NMIT are at the apprentice level, the pre-apprentice level, the certificate level, the diploma. We do have advanced diploma of electronics and communication. Yeah, the job opportunities are really varied. Like you do have the servicing jobs, the maintenance jobs, you do have the technical support jobs, you do get jobs in small, small companies up to big broadcasting companies. We do have students. And the one important part is these certificates are interstate uh, like nationally recognized so that you can work in the state as well which is a good important part. The main focus of these courses is to prepare people for the workforce in electronics and communications and other related industries. What job am I hoping to get out of this? Um, I've, for me, I've, I'm probably a bit more senior than your average student. Um, I've been doing this sort of work for many years now, but I don't actually have a qualification in it. So for me, it's pretty much about doing the same work I'm doing now, which is working with sound, um, but hopefully I can get a bit more money out of the process once I've got that qualification. A substantial amount of time is devoted to practical activities with top of the range equipment employed. These activities are designed to complement theory classes. Uh, here at uh, Epping TAFE, NMIT, we teach electronics and communications. Uh, we have several very good teachers in this area. Uh, one of the uh, features that we have is a NIDA training system, which is uh, featured right here in front of me. It incorporates various um, boards that can be placed on the device to measure voltage, current, resistance, etc. Um, capacitance, inductance. Um, it is a computer based program but it also features a practical side of it where you will be measuring currents and voltages and resistances. Uh, you will log in online, set up a, a PRAC. Um, it is very simple to use. It is uh, an excellent tool to assist students who may be struggling a little in the area, not understanding, need a little bit of extra assistance. So it is a, a tool that we offer to our students to help them gain a little bit of extra confidence in those areas that they may be uh, lacking in. There is a strong focus on digital, analog and communications electronics and associated technologies. Uh, we are doing the course of um, Advanced Diploma of Electronics and Communication Engineering, which is a two years course and we are on the second year almost finished. Uh, the course is really good, it's uh, really interesting the way we do it. It's, uh, we don't work only on, um, on theory, we also work with workshops and practice and everything. Electronic repair and maintenance of electronic sub-assemblies are also major areas of study. I 
I guess if you're looking, looking or considering taking up some uh, an apprenticeship or some vocational training, um, definitely give NMIT a go. They've got campuses everywhere. Um, in my experience, the lecturers and teachers seem to actually really give a damn about the subject and they're always uh, happy to give you a hand. So I've got good things to say about them. For more information on electronics and communication at NMIT, contact the Department of Computer Systems and Electrotechnology on 03 9269 1062.